A new study says 25% of people who get divorced cite housework disagreements as the primary reason they split up. Translation, folks, swap that beer for a broom or hit the bricks. So Jimmy Rhodes looks at how to negotiate the chore wars at the top of the list. She's got a man she's promised to love, honor, and... Keep out for the right way. That might have flown in the 50s, but these days chores are supposed to be shared. But in practice, housework is a leading cause of divorce. Like seriously? Yet yeah, people would rather pay alimony to make that person go away than fold the laundry. So how do you stop fighting over housework? Number one, determine your split. And so generally speaking, if you share a task, that's associated with better relationship quality. Daniel Carlson is a professor of consumer and family studies, and he's focused on how particular household tasks were associated with a relationship's quality. So for women, doing the dishes really seemed to resonate in a negative way with them. You, you see, there's dishes. What can I do? And for men, the most hated task was shopping. People seem to be pretty happy as long as they're not the ones stuck doing the tasks. So how you're splitting things is key. Number two, establish work hours. When you both work at the same time. Because if you're cleaning while she's chillaxing. Can you wait to do that maybe until commercial? I mean, this show is really good. Someone's gonna get in trouble. And when there's feelings of, of, of inequity, that tends to lower relationship quality. So make a chore chart. How about while you're doing the laundry, I'll clean the bathroom. Fair, okay. And even though these tasks aren't necessarily fun to do, you can do them together. How about we do grocery shopping together on Sundays? All right, I'll go with you. And that becomes the foundation of a good relationship is just spending time doing things. And in this instance, housework. And at number three, hire it out. TaskRabbit. Tasker is here. Easy to use services like TaskRabbit will help you find help. Giving up some of our discretionary income in order to have more time can promote happiness. Ashley Willens of Harvard's Business School found that buying time promotes relationship satisfaction. So if your main argument looks like this. This, this almost killed me. And you're drinking wine. Oh, I know, I almost finished the bottle waiting for you. Then spending a little money on chores will be well worth it. Keeping your home clean and your relationship together is on the top of the list.